Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to Vlogmas. For today's video, I'm going to do like a blue eyeshadow look. It's very like Elsa, Winter Queen inspired eyeshadow. Um, I've had this kind of in my head for the past couple weeks now, um, and I really want to do it. I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. It's going to be very blue. I'm not used to blue shadows. I don't know how I'm actually going to end up liking this look, but we're going to go ahead and experience anyways so I'm gonna zoom you guys in I hope my bronzer doesn't look too crazy today I've been kind of like trying to experiment with like bronzer and contour and stuff um because I was looking at some videos from a couple years ago where I would wear a lot more bronzer than I have been lately and I was like my makeup looks so good and my face looks so skinny and so I'm trying to do my bronzer the way that I used to to make my face look skinny again anyways so to start off I think I'm going to take the shade earth which of these like light blues right here and this one right here this one seems to be the closest to like a sky blue actually Electra might be a pretty good sky blue too but I'm gonna use earth it also has like some little um white things in there um, but when you mix it all together, it's like very close to a sky blue. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Wow, that's pigmented. You know, I don't use the blues in this palette very often. I usually use the purples. The purples are not nearly as pigmented as the blues in this palette. There is already a lot of fallout, though. bit better this would be a good eyeshadow to use with like a concealer base but I have um, setting like I have concealer on my eyelids but I have setting powder on on top of it just cuz that's just how I usually do my makeup this would be good to use directly on top of a concealer and then next I'm going to take Pluto which is the dark blue just lightly dab my brush in that and I'm just gonna use it to deepen that crease that's not as pretty of a blue but I want my crease a little deepened I'm gonna use earth to oh my gosh there's so much fallout I'm gonna use earth to help blend it I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just Makes a pretty highlight though when you blend it out. Now, I really want to put like a white shade on my lid, and there's no white shades in this palette, so I think I'm gonna go with my Artist Couture and Illuminati. This is the Diamond Glow Powder, and I'm going to put some on a brush. Spray the brush. I'm spraying with this ColourPop. Um, crystal priming spray. I don't even know if ColourPop sells this anymore. Um, it's not very good, so like I don't even use it for my face. I just use it to spray my brushes. I'm gonna use my finger to blend that out because it's kind of chunky. is such a mess I I don't know I really this BH cosmetics palette was like one of my first like big makeup palettes but like it's just not very good and I keep it around because every time I have an idea like this that uses color I'm like oh yeah I have that color in my BH galaxy chic palette but the palette is just it's not very good maybe it's one that just you know you have to use a primer you have to use a concealer I'm gonna go back in with earth um, and this time I'm gonna take it and spray my brush 
and put that in the crease. Okay, that's better. Now let's see if it stays, because at first the pigment was good, but it wasn't sticking. Doing it again, spraying my brush. Okay, that's literally so much better. I hate the way I look with blue eyeshadow. I don't know what it is. Anytime I use blues or green, I just automatically think it looks hookery. It doesn't matter what the eyeshadow looks like. Just I always feel like it makes me look like I'm trying to do hooker makeup. Now I'm taking Earth on a clean brush that is not sprayed and just going to blend out that edge. The thing is, is all of these blues in this palette look very similar. Like look, there is a different blue on every single one of my fingers. And they are all so similar. Like, why do I need blues that are this similar? Like, Comet right here is a bit more teal, but the other three are, like, pretty much identical. And even Comet is very, very, very similar. I'm going to go back in with some more of that Illuminati um, highlight from Artist Couture, and I'm just putting that on top. I don't spray my brush or anything. I'm just trying to... Some of that pigment back right there and then i'm gonna take i think i'm gonna take electra this time which is this one and i'm going to get some on my brush spray the brush it's a little concealer brush and then i'm gonna do it on my bottom lash line Honestly, I think that's it for the eye look. So we're going for like a little ice queen vibe. So now I'm going to just put on some mascara. Interesting that this is an Elsa inspired look, but in the movie, I'm pretty sure Elsa has purple eyeshadow. But blue, like this kind of blue also really reminds me of like snow in winter. Elsa's dress is this blue, of course. <laughs> I'm using is the MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. I think that's good. And then I think I'm even going to use one of these. Like, I'm not leaving the house today, so why not? I'm going to use, I think we'll go with Meteor, which is the palette's upside down. I always do this. I show you guys the palette upside down. I'm going to use Meteor um, for highlight. <laughs> Actually really pretty I like I've never used I think I've used some like colory like pink and maybe purple highlights before but I always see like the what are they like duochrome highlights I'm like mm, that's not really for me but this is actually like kind of cute I wouldn't wear it every day but I'm gonna put some on my forehead honestly let's just put it all over we're having fun today. I'm gonna take a bigger brush to help blend it all out. This looks more like alien than Ice Princess, I feel like. Now I'm going to use like this lip stain. This is from It Cosmetics. I actually did a review of this lip stain, but it wasn't very good. Um, but it's the Vitality Lip Flush Stain. I'm just going to put it right here. And then I'm going to take this Sephora brand lip plumper. It's the Beauty Amplifier Lip Plumper and put that on top. Because I want my lips to have like a natural 
red just got in from the cold look to them do your lips look red when you get in from the cold did i just make that up i feel like my lips get dry when i get in from the cold and that stain might take just a couple minutes to work oh no there it is this is like it looks like a gloss but then when you put it on it changes colors to um act like a stain so there it is our little ice queen winter makeup look sometimes it's just fun to play around with makeup you guys and that's what i was feeling like today i'm glad i sprayed the eyeshadow because i don't usually do that um i just i don't normally think to do that but that actually really helped a lot with getting the pigment so maybe i should try that out more often i should try that out with the green jaclyn hill vault palette because um as you guys saw when i did my week with jaclyn hill videos i had a really hard time with the green palette the dark magic palette so maybe i will try it again and spray my brush um when i use that one but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed happy vlogmas and thank you so much for watching bye guys Thank you.